welcome back to another video guys i thought today i know this might not be everyone's cup of tea but i thought we could do a organizing babe boys clothes now that we've also got the nursery set up his wardrobe is done and this is a job that i've literally been so excited to do for so long so i thought today i'm actually going to do it and i have now come to the realization that i've bought him way too many clothes i'm going to show you because it's all on the floor and it's just unnecessary and i think i've even bought doubles of some things now so i might need to actually have a sort through and maybe put some bit more bits on vintage because some of it i got from vintage in like massive bundles where like there were certain things that i didn't really want but i wanted the other stuff so i might sort that out and maybe put some things on vintage because yeah it's just unnecessary for him to have this many clothes so i'll show you that but first of all i got the, these off tiktok shop uh, actually no, I think they're from Timu, but you can get them off TikTok shop and they basically are like little organisers. I mean, you've probably seen them before, but they say like zero to three months, newborn, three to six months, like that. And you can basically obviously then like separate his clothing into his ages, which would be really handy because obviously I think I'm just going to put newborn and zero to three in the wardrobe because obviously... He's not going to come out being three to six months sizing. If he did, I'd be very concerned. Um, so, yeah, he's probably going to be a newborn slash, you know, first size. Um, but then also zero to three, he might go into quite quickly. It kind of depends. Some people say with boys, they do, like, jump up to the next sizing quite quickly. So, and I've got, like, zero to three stuff in, like, summary bits as well, some of it. So I think I'm going to hang those bits up in the wardrobe as well. But first, we need to actually sort out the clothes I'm going to keep because that is just unnecessary to have that many clothes. I'm going to show you now how many it is because, yeah, I'm actually a little bit embarrassed and ashamed of myself. <laughs> the thing is, like, the, the way I'm justifying this is that most of it is from Vinted or it's from shops where they've had sales on. So you can see, like, all the red stickers and stuff. Like, I don't think I've really paid full price for many things at all and yeah some things i've definitely got duplicates of like i've already seen a duplicate or something so i need to actually just pop that on minted um but yeah i'm going to sort through it now i might sit down and do this bit and then sort the outfits that i actually want because some bits where they're like three to six months or they're bigger i'm not going to bother hanging them up in the wardrobe i'll probably just like fold them at the bottom because he won't be in them for a while and same with like the wintry stuff there's no point putting them in the wardrobe yet i might as well hang them not hang them up might as well put them at the bottom of the wardrobe. So in the actual hanging up bit, I'm mainly just going to have the summer bits and like, you know, newborn and zero to three. So yeah, hopefully there's not too much stuff that will be hanging up. But I'm going to sort through this first. Um, I'll put it on a time lapse or I'll talk to you for a bit through it because some of these outfits are so cute. Like you actually might cry if you see some of these outfits or at least I will. <laughs> oh God, sorry, someone's at the door. I think that you should be able to see me. Let me move you back slightly oh god okay right not the most flattering angle i know guys all right you're just you know not in the most flattering way right now i need to have a bit of a glow up to be fair but i'm gonna sort through the clothes so i honestly don't know how i'm gonna get rid of anything to be honest because how can you look at clothes like this and this and decide what to get rid of but i'm gonna sort into sizes as well and take the tags off as well i think actually um so this was, the thing is, different shops obviously are different, like, sizes. Like, this is one to two months. So I'm going to put that in, like, the newborn section, like, first size. This is zero to three. I'm just going to leave this on the hanger because I have bought hangers, but if it's come with hangers, I might as well use that. So I reckon I've got most stuff in zero to three. This is zero to three, but again, it's a jumper. So I'm thinking, obviously, I'm going to keep this, but I'm going to potentially put it in the folding pile. Um, those are the leggings that go with that. So I don't really know if I'm going to be able to hang that up. That's, actually, no, that's not going to get hung up. That's going to go in the drawers because that's not really something that needs to get hung up. So that can go there. Okay. Um, t-shirts. Again, it seems kind of silly to hang up t-shirts, doesn't it? Maybe t-shirts could go in a drawer as well. Let's hang up t-shirts in a drawer. Okay. Same with that. That's a bodysuit outfit. Oh, God. It's all attached. Ah! This is going to take me a long time. I will be on time lapse in a minute, guys, because it's going to bore you to death. I can't even get these tags. There we go. Right, this is another bodysuit set with um, little leggings. So, again, I'm going to use these hangers, but take them off of this and just hang these up. Because, yeah, there's no way that these need to be not hang them up. I don't know. I can't even do this. What am I talking about, guys? You know what I'm talking about, don't you? I hope you do. Right, okay. I'll show, maybe I'll like put you on time lapse and then just show you if there is some cute outfits because yeah, you don't need to see absolutely every outfit, do you? You're probably bored to death. Oh, this one came with a little hat. Look at that. Oh god, that's still oh that's still attached. Come on. Oh, okay, I'm gonna make sure I don't lose that hat because I don't think they actually have any hats for him. 
So let's keep that separate as well. Okay, hangers, hangers, hangers. Okay, cool. Right, we're gonna put the time lapse. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> this is the current state. It's very messy, but I've kind of got a bit of a system going on. So down here is clothing that's either three to six months or six to nine that I'm just gonna slot under there, I think, for now, because obviously he won't be in that for a while and there's no point hanging that up. And then this is his clothes hung up so far. So I've got like a little system. These are the only two outfits that I've got in first size or like newborn. Um, I think I must've got this in a bundle because he's not gonna be wearing a tracksuit, I would've thought <laughs> when he's first born, but he is gonna be small. So maybe he will still be in that when it gets a little bit cooler. And then this is all from here is all zero to three months. And I've got a few summer bits up to about there. And then it's mostly like jumpers because Zero to three is probably like gonna be like sort of like October, November time, I think for him, maybe September a push. But realistically, I have been told he's looking on the smaller size. So I think this stuff will be more wintry, which is fine because obviously it's all jumpers and tracksuits. So yeah, that's the wardrobe at the moment. I'm gonna fold these up and put them underneath there. This is all things that I don't think need hanging up. They're like t-shirts, rompers, and like kind of like leggings. So I think I'm gonna put them in one of these drawers. I've realised though I don't have enough newborn stuff because if he's going to be small I'm going to need newborn so I need to go through these vests and check how many of these are actually in the newborn size because I do think like majority of them like let's see I think majority of them are going to be zero to three which is fine because obviously we'll need that at some point but I don't have enough stuff for him to wear if he is small basically is what I'm saying so I'm gonna have to maybe order some more bits which is crazy because you'd think I have enough but I just have so much zero to three like I just went crazy on zero to three clearly um and he could do with maybe like a few more like rompers really because they'll be quite good to wear for him during the summer when it's like quite hot just like some thin rompers so I might have a look at that as well okay now what I'm doing guys is I'm sorting through these vests into what's zero to three and what's like newborn slash up to one month. So far I found this that's newborn and these are new up to one month. So far everything else I've picked up is in zero to three. So I think what I'm gonna do is just split it so the zero to three is over this side, the newborn slash one month is over this side, just so I can see, like visibly see how much newborn stuff we do have because he is gonna need vests of newborn, like definitely. So then I can see how many we've got and um, potentially buy more. I've got this pile here down as well that's going to be vintage pile because I either don't like it, like I probably got it in a bundle and vintage myself that I didn't like, or I've got duplicates of it. Um, and then also if we create more space in here that means I can put this stuff away as well. So yeah, that is the current plan. Okay, I've now managed to empty the drawer completely. So these are the two piles. So this is newborn slash first size slash like up to one month. And this is zero to three. So I definitely do have more zero to three, but to be honest, I do think that's plenty of vests for newborn because obviously i'll just keep washing them so i actually do think that's fine i don't think i need to buy any mate don't think i need to buy any the only thing i might buy is like a couple of like rompers like a couple of like newborn outfits and i know people say don't buy newborn outfits but just in case we do have like any plans throughout the summer then he's got like a couple of nice things to wear because he's not going to want to just leave the house in these do you know what i mean this fun when we're just round the house but um yeah not when he actually wants to leave the house there's actually nowhere to balance you guys in this nursery but um I'm gonna sort my hair out. Look like an absolute stick. Right, there we go. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna put these back in the drawers and like separate them. Like I said, I probably should do this with sleep suits as well, which is the drawer below, which don't won't take as long because I've not got anywhere near as many sleep suits. So we'll do that next. Um, and then fold up the rest of the stuff and put stuff away because it's looking very messy in here now and it's giving me anxiety because it did not start like I did not start this video it looking messy. Um, so yeah. This is meant to be a like organisational video and like nesting video, so yeah, that's the plan. Okay, they're all in. You can see I lost motivation towards the end because I was folding them up neatly and then I realised I'm going to have to take them all out to wash them anyway. So I can fold them up all neatly after they've been washed, so I ended up just chucking those ones in. But at least now they're divided so I can actually see what I've got. And then this one. Ow, I just hit my foot. Um, that one obviously, yeah, not got as many sleep suits. And then this drawer, oh god, that was a bit harsh, wasn't it? 
is all just random stuff. So I don't actually know where I'm going to put this stuff into, to be honest, because I can't stay in my washing basket. I might have to put it in the cot for now. Everyone does say your cot becomes your dumping ground. So that might have to go in the cot until that drawer gets emptied, which it will do when he's here, because obviously I'm going to need all them bottles out, going to need the sleep sacks out and stuff like that. So I think we'll just have to dump that into there. We'll fold these up and tuck them at the bottom of the wardrobe, like I said. Pick up all those tags and then pop these bits on vintage. Um, and then I feel like I've made a good start. Right, we've tidied up a little bit now. Things are looking a bit better. <laughs> Shut up, Dan. Right, um, this is all the stuff I'm putting on vintage now. So I'm going to sort this into bundles and just sell it in bundles for really cheap, probably. Um... Although actually some people might not want things in bundles. So I might, I might separate it a little bit. But like especially like this. This is brand new with tags. So I probably will just sell this separately. Um, but it's going to be really really cheap. So if you are a mum or you're pregnant and you're interested. Then definitely check my vintage. I'll put it on the screen now. But in case I forget it's holes.22. Um, so yeah I'm just going to take pictures of these on the floor I think. And then that can be sorted. And then yeah it's pretty much back to how it was when I found it. But I am literally exhausted. Like my belly. Oh and my back from standing up and doing this i've probably been in here a couple of hours i suppose i've had like a little break in between but probably been in here a couple of hours doing this actually um and yeah my back feels like it's gonna crack so i definitely need to hurry up and do this so i can sit down and just chill for a bit or edit this video probably um so yeah everything takes a lot of effort when you're pregnant right that is the end of the video because well because i'm quite tired frankly <laughs> and yeah i thought i'd still film it i mean it might not have been that interesting for some people but i feel like organizational stuff i always find that interesting i like to like chuck videos like that on in the background and yeah i definitely do feel like i'm starting nesting i just don't think i have like the physical energy to be nesting as much as i want to be um but i do feel a little bit better knowing that like his clothes are away now kind of thing because they were taking up loads of space in our spare room and they were just like dumped in like bags and stuff so i kind of am glad that that's all away obviously i will wash it all um i don't know if i mentioned that but obviously i'm planning on washing everything um but now i can just take things out at a time and wash them and put them back so yeah it doesn't feel like as daunting a job if that makes sense but i don't know when to start washing clothes let me know when you did that in pregnancy because obviously it's getting warmer now so i can like dry things on the line um which is nice but i don't want to wash things too early but at the same time if i wash them and they're going in the wardrobe surely like no more like bacteria or whatever is going to get on them um so yeah maybe i m might start doing it soon but i am only 28 weeks so it's still quite early i'm thinking maybe sort of like 32 ish weeks 33 ish weeks um i might start doing that just because i think what if you do go into labor like super early and you haven't done anything like that so i'm thinking maybe sort of 32 weeks obviously i go to greece when i'm 30 so maybe like when i get back from greece sort of time i'll start thinking about that but yeah that is the end of the video i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye guys